Hey, so I have a little bit of a problem. You see, I'm in the mood for building, but I don't really know where to start. I have all the motivation, but none of the creative ideas. And so I thought I would just set up the recording and get some blocks in my inventory and see what I can build. And I have a bit of an idea to start off. I want to build a fountain. That's going to be my inspiration word. So let's get started. First thing I got to do is build out a, a outline or something, of course. Um, and I'm thinking right now, am I going to regret this this two block center? And I think the answer is yes. So I'm going to bring that in just here like that. And how was I doing this circle? It was a two two or two, one two and then two ones one two two and then was it five? Yes, it was five. One two three four five. Okay. And now I'm already getting a little bit of an idea. I'm going to do a bit of a compound circle. So we're going to build whatever this shape is. Um, let's just continue that for now. And then we're going to put another circle on top of it and see how that looks. Okay, so that's that's my idea. And I thought, okay, well, why don't we have a double layered water fountain? One water fountain up here goes into this one. Maybe instead of the fountain, a fountain in here, there's like a big feature. And I thought as well that I could embrace the imperfection of the circle and perfa perhaps take one of my other blocks. Uh, maybe not one of the ones I have in my inventory now. So I'll just I'll just put this here as a placeholder. But but maybe we can we can do something with the corners here make it look a little bit more intentional. And you know, I've just had another idea. So we've got the sort of, I, I'm going to use this term incorrectly, the leitmotif um, over here. I thought, what if I what if I reference it again, except on a bigger scale? So over here, so maybe we, we bring this side of, of the water fountain up, right? And then we, we, we kind of slowly bring it down. That's a bit, that's a bit uh, crude, but we can we can refine it later, perhaps like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's what I'm looking for. And then we'll have sort of the same shape and perhaps even we'll have the water coming out of here. Okay, so I've counted out the radius. Let's see if this works. Ah, yes, but the pattern is is not what I want it to be. Okay, uh, we're undoing that. Let's try something. Well, let's, let's, let's do it by hand. I, I think I've sealed my fate by, by putting this on the very bottom of the world. Oh, well, whoopsie. Okay, so for this top end, it's, it's, it's more of a bland thing, but I thought I would put some grime in the corner, you know, to show that it's been well used. And maybe, maybe we'll do a bit of a transition from uh, the darker material to something that's a little bit more worn. I don't know. I don't really, I don't really think this is how wear generally works, but I like the look. So we're going to keep it for now, at least. Okay, moment of truth. Will this look like mud? I have, in the past, made fountains with orange bottoms and they have looked like they're full of mud. So let's see if that happens here. No. Well, no, you know what? It's brown because orange is a shade of brown, but, oh, I don't have any animations. <laughs> I turned my animations off, I forgot. But the context makes it so it works. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's fill the rest of this. Oh, and uh, and and this. Yeah, we gotta have our, our functional water feature. Oh, this is this is weird. I gotta turn my animations. Around. The last clip abrupted abruptly <laughs> abrupted endly. <laughs> the last clip ended abruptly uh, because I pressed the stop recording button instead of the pause button. Um, <laughs> anyways, it's looking a lot more nice with the proper water animations. Um, and I, I had the idea that, you know, I was thinking about doing a statue in the middle or doing a fountain in the middle. And I thought, why not both? We could do the statue, uh, on top of the water fountain, or maybe the water can be coming out of the statue. So let's, let's, let's do that. But before I get to that, actually, I've just had a thought of what to do with these funny end pieces. You can see I've already added color over there and I thought, well, let's, let's just expand this pattern up to over here. Maybe we can connect them to the statue that might eventually go here. Who knows? Anyways, I'm building up the, the this little checkerboard pattern. There's nothing really specific about it. Maybe, I don't know, just f medieval festivals. That's the inspiration. <laughs> there you go. I don't know about this tall one. This tall one might be... You know what? No, let's keep it for now. I'm tentatively okay with it. Oh, geez, now I got to do the statue and I've just taken a dip in the water and it's given me boat recipes. Oh, no. Okay. I got to, I got to, I got to think of this. I got to think about this. Maybe I should get some references. Hmm. Okay. So it's going to be a squid because I've made a squid before, uh, but I've just discovered that I have no idea how I'm going to fit all the legs in this space. So I might just do four legs and pretend that 
I don't know. It's an amputee, maybe, or or maybe all the other legs are like hidden in the hid, hidden in the in the fountain or something. Good news is the squid doesn't need to be an amputee. The bad news is I'm still having trouble. They're intersecting. I don't want that. Uh, <laughs> I might just have to d put up with it though, because this is looking too good to back off. This blue is a little bit much for me, especially in contrast with the orange. I think the arms need to be purple. But I'm going to keep this this color around for now and change it when I'm done. Uh, speaking of getting closer to being done, what a great transition. Uh, <laughs> we got to figure out what to do over here. And I think I want to do a dude throwing a harpoon at the squid. Maybe this is a, a tragic scene water fountain. I, I miss I miss the old hitbox for the paint, the paints, the, the iron bars. Man. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh. I think now is the perfect time to incorporate some more natural geometry into the build. So I'm going to make the, the harpoon throwing person on top of a cliff. And then, and then, here's, 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 here's the fun part. I'm going to uh, put a, oh geez, nope, that's not right. I'm going to put something like that. This will change, but there's going to be a waterfall coming out of the cliff. Oh, actually, you know what? No, that, that works. Maybe that'll stay. You know, it's funny, I, I did this whole squid to avoid doing a humanoid statue, and here I am doing a humanoid statue anyway. Maybe if I pull the rubber duck method like I've been doing, and explain this to, to Invisible You, that I, I'll have some moment of eureka and be able to do this. So I'm trying to make this this statue kind of, with the knee back, kind of throwing the... Throwing the, the, throwing the javelin. Um, oh, actually, I've, I've just had a thought. Okay, so, in this in this scene, the javelin's already hit, or the, the harpoon's already hit, so... In that case, it would be holding on. It wouldn't be in the throwing motion. No, it would be uh, pulling back. Okay, redo. Let's try this again. <laughs> there we go. Rubber duck method success. I think I've cursed myself trying to do this on a diagonal. Uh, anyways, I thought I would build the javelin first. Uh, now, because I, I need to figure out how to position the guy. And if I don't know where the javelin is going, well, then I don't know where the guy is going. And it's easier to move the guy than it is to move the javelin after I've done it. You know, the javelin has to be straight no matter what. And so if I build the guy around the javelin, I might have a better time. Let's try. <laughs> yes, it's a very thick harpoon. Um, you'll just have to use some elements of imagination. Or, you know what, we could lean into the hyperbole. Let's just make this big. Yeah, let's let's make this a big, a big knife. Yes, there we go. Oh, yeah, we got that knife shape. Let's put that there for some texture. Yes. Okay. It's a little bit awkward. I, I wish we had yellow slabs. Maybe we can use some, where is it? Some of some end stone to, to correct the shape. Oh, uh, place. There we go. Yes. Yes. That is very, I like that. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Anvil shoes. How does it look? Okay, so it's a little bit different now. It kind of tells a bit of a different story um, because I couldn't really do an action pose in that space. It's just too small. So I thought, oh, why don't, why don't I try a relaxation pose or something like, I don't know. It could be weird dual metaphor. So this guy is, instead of like harvesting this, maybe he's trying to pull it out, you know, trying to save the beast, but he's also relaxing on the side for some reason. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. I'll let you write your own story for this because I think that's cool. Uh, does it look like good on this side? No, I'm going to have to touch, touch some things up. Um, but that's, that's the pose done. I suppose I should continue the, oops, continue the, 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 whatever this is down here. Have it like coil over here or something. Yeah, something like that. Cool. I've touched this guy up, but he still looks a little bit sketchy. Um, you know what, though? I don't think it's going to get any better for now, so I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take my victories as I get them. Don't ask me to reproduce this. I don't think I'll be able to. And yeah, I, I think with that, though, we're pretty much in the home stretch. We just have some detailing left to do, and, and then we are done. Okay, I'm trying one more thing before I'm done, and that's this. I'm going to do little banners on, on these things. Make Give give these things some purpose. Um Although I am going to replace the iron bars, that's that is that is a little bit confusing considering that the supports for the fountain are also iron bars. And I've just noticed that this guy is floating. <laughs> um, okay, I got to change that. What, what can I do for that? Let's use the trapdoor. Trapdoor, yes, yes, trapdoor will nice. clear that guy up. There, 
Okay, that's acceptable now. And with this, I believe, I believe I am done. Look at that. There we go. I'm, <laughs> look at that. I, uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about this. And you'll notice I kept the uh, blue tentacles. I like them now. I'm glad I put these in. I ended up not putting them in here because I thought it cluttered up the space too much. And I want this, this harpoon to stand out as sort of the main feature. So yeah, no more clutter. Um, <laughs> you'll also notice that before I put these trees here to block the bad side, because you know me, if you've seen my videos before, sometimes if I have a build I don't like, I'll just cover it up in leaves, and that usually works out. So that's that's why those are there. I don't know how to end this. <laughs> let's do shaders. Let's look at let's look at the building shaders. So here I am in my nice BSL shaders. Um, I've got approximately two minutes before my computer fans start making a loud racket. So let's get this over with. I'm gonna look around. There's really not that much to see. It's a small build. Um, I love the water. I think shaders, shaders I, I like most because it makes water look realistic. Otherwise, yeah, I could live without them. But look at that. Look at that. It's, it's done. I feel good. That's the build. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Uh, goodbye.